Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. And in this video, I am teaching you how to fold the stealth dart. I let you guys vote last week on which plane you wanted to see next, and overwhelmingly, this was your choice. Now, this is from the world record fold and fly planes, and that is a collaboration between me and John Collins, the world record holder for paper airplane distance. And we took eight of John's very best paper airplanes. Uh, there are some planes that boomerang back to you, a bat plane that flaps its wings as it flies, a tube plane that is literally a tube and spirals as it flies, and the world record plane herself, Suzanne, which flies 226 feet. And I designed illustrated templates for those eight planes. That way your plane can look awesome like this rather than a plain white sheet of paper. So if that is interesting to you, head over to foldableflight.com or the paperairplaneguy.com to purchase your copy there. And a package will come with three templates for each of those eight planes. Now, uh, like I said, in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to fold the stealth dart, but I'm going to leave a card in the top right corner to let you guys vote on what video you want to see next week. And also you can find John Collins channel there as well. Now I will show you guys how the stealth dart plane flies and I'll pass it over to John to teach you how to fold it. This is the stealth, great looking paper airplane. The swept trailing edge back here, this curve. You don't see a lot of planes with curved wings. The tube and the stealth both have curves to their wings. The um, red winglets give it a striking uh, look also. And the body of this plane is, is just awesome in terms of the coloring. If you're not working with uh, our special paper, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through how to make this plane. It'll look great either way, but it really looks cool with the foldable flight and paper airplane guy paper. This is, <laughs> I, I love this plane. Um, so let's start with our stealth paper. It says stealth right there. And of course the red arrow is right there. So we're gonna start with the paper oriented this way and we're gonna fold it in half. So that's just folding it in half the long way. Step number one. Take your time and line up the corners. And you're gonna to wanna to make a nice sharp crease here. This paper, uh, the only downside is sometimes it can be just a little bit slippery on that initial fold when you're folding that guy in half. So take your time uh, and line that up nicely. And now what we're gonna do is a, a standard kind of fold. You've seen this a million times, making uh, the old school dart kind of plane. We're just gonna fold a corner down. Flip it over, fold the other corner down. And then open up that very first crease that we made in the plane. You got two little triangles on top. And now you're gonna fold this top corner all the way down to the bottom corner here. I'm not zooming out because we're <laughs> you're gonna see that even zooming in is gonna be a little bit helpful here. Uh, right on the center crease right there. And then make that crease nice and solid. Okay. Now we're gonna fold this point back up to the top. This is all in an effort to get a lot of weight forward. Now, you could look at the broad wings of the Stealth and think, hey, that's a glider. But when you look at the wing size compared to a lot of other paper airplanes, it's got really small wings, which makes it fly fast. So the flight is a lot more like a dart, high speed. So you could call it a high speed glider. I choose to call it the Stealth Dart. Uh, so now we're going to take these two corners up here and move them down to the center. The natural limit is that inside layer here, of course. Those guys together right there. And now we're going to actually flip these corners underneath this layer here, there's an easy way to do it. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. You're gonna start by making a little pinch mark here where this layer underneath ends. So what you're doing is making a pinch mark right here 
um, both uh, both of these flaps. So I'm just going to move that aside right now. You can see that I'm just making a pinch mark at the end of that layer right here. Now you could go ahead and make a crease and then just flip the re reverse the direction on the crease. Uh, but I like to make a pinch mark and then open that up and fold from the pinch mark down to the end of the crease here. So this is um, it's. A little bit faster, a little less stress on the paper overall, and it, it comes out pretty nicely if you're, you know, religiously watching the that pinch mark. So there was our pinch mark. I made the new crease, and now I'm just going to lift that up enough to stuff that layer under there. Now, I'll do it the other way on the other side, just so you can kind of see what it would look like uh, if you just do the crease from here all the way to the outside corner. If I just make the crease, this is totally okay. You could do this. If you find it easier, you can make the crease like that and then just reverse that crease and then put the layer under. It, it comes out roughly the same. I just like doing the least amount of layer reversing when I'm making a paper airplane. It's just a good uh, construction habit to be in. Uh, and now we're going to fold the plane in half right down the center, the same fold that we've already made before here. I fold it in half and these corners should be matching up if you made a good uh, fold on the first one very first step you can see that this red portion is going to become our winglets that that helps the plane look really really cool uh, and then the fuselage fold we're just going to fold down about a thumb width here if you think of how how uh, wide the winglet is you're going to be a little bit uh, less wide than that so if you need a, another visual reference there we go. And that wing crease should be parallel with the main center fold. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Just flip it over, make a wing crease the same way. Again, you're trying to match up these rear corners here and uh, you should be able to figure out how to start that on the nose. Just look at the crease behind there. You're just trying to make the wings match. The better your wings match, the straighter your plane flies with no adjustment. You can always make some adjustment to get a right or left turn out of there, but it's better if you start with a very little adjustment. Okay, now making winglets. Just fold up along that red on both sides. And if you're using paper that's not our colored paper, our sporty little colored paper here, uh, you can just a little bit more than the fuselage or just the same size of the fuselage will work fine. Now we're going to go from one corner of the winglet to the other corner of the winglet, moving in just a little bit to show you that diagonal crease across there, one side, and then the other side. Now, what we're gonna do is make that, the creases that make the curve on the trailing edge possible. So what you do is fold up just a little bit of the wing, and you're only gonna fold just the layered part. The unlayered part, you do not fold. And so we're just gonna move, use the body of the plane as a guide, folding the layered part there, there's one side done. You can see that sweep happening if, as long as I don't make a crease that goes all the way back. And we're going to do the other side. Just folding the layered part here. And we got the layered part folded on each side. Let's get our winglets standing up straight and tall. You want these guys to be at 90 degrees from the wing. And there we go. So I like to do couple of adjustments I like to do to keep this guy flying easily. It's really got high wing loading, which means it's each part of the wing is lifting a significant amount of weight. And so I'll do a little bit of upward bend right here at that uh, crease that we use to curve the wings. Do a little upward bend there. And then if you need up elevator, they're going to go out here close to where the winglet attaches to the wing. And that'll keep your wing curved the right direction. But the stealth dart, really cool plane. Great flying, fast, striking looking plane. Very fun, the stealth dart.